Here's the line diagram for the main engine air starting system which comprises of an air bottle for starting air, a pilot valve for commencing the operation, a turning gear interlock, an automatic air start valve, an air distributor and a cylinder head starting air valve. The air supply is provided to the engine by opening the main air bottle valve. When the valve is opened, all the air passes through the pilot valve and acts on top of the automatic start valve, providing a positive closing. The other branch supplies air until the turning gear interlocks which prevents the air to go further in the line. To start the main engine, first the turning gear needs to be disengaged. This will deactivate the interlock and the air will be supplied to the automatic air start valve. Because of the spring pressure and the additional positive closing by the air supplied from the pilot valve, the air will not go beyond the automatic start valve until the start command is given. When the air start lever is operated in the engine control room, the pilot valve shifts and blocks the air on top of the automatic valve. This vents the line and there is no more positive closing. The air passed through the turning gear interlock pushes the spring, opens the valve and closes the vent. The air is now available in the cylinder head starting air valve manifold and the distributor. The distributor consists of a negative type cam for the positive overlap. When the unit number 4 distributor valve comes in the cam profile, the air compresses the spring and the valve is open to operate the same unit number 4 cylinder head starting air valve. As the camshaft rotates the unit number 4 line is vented and the cylinder head starting air valve closes. Now the unit number 1 valve will be in contact with the cam profile and the air is injected in this unit. The air injection in the cylinder is done as per the firing order of the engine. 